It's nice. Uh, yeah, welcome to 2096, post-apocalyptic role-playing game set in the not-so-distant future. Intelligence is rewarded, stupidity is punished, this is my world, but these are your stories. And whatever you do, don't roll a one. Uh, let's see, we're on a new season, this is session 31, 32, you can count that episode that I didn't count. Uh, with, you know, what I miss? Uh, oh, nothing, we just started, look at that, that's good timing. Um, uh, gaslighting Kev uh, Ryan? Excellent. We have four players with us today. Uh, perfect timing. I should have just waited another 60 seconds, but it's fine. So, uh, sorry. That, you're good. You're good. What was I saying? I don't remember. Uh, yeah, Androids and stuff. I told you that. They don't only have that stuff. I reworked stun weapons. I don't know if you guys saw that. I didn't rework it. I just made it. I described it, I guess. Whatever. Uh, and we all know weapon specialization, as I said. Once you get to five, you can pick a special weapon, and it will negate critical misses with no harsh penalties. Uh, anyways, four players uh, for this session 31. Introduce yourselves. We'll go around, introduce yourselves, who you're playing. We're going to start with Patrick, who just got here. Uh, tell us a little about who are you playing today. Playing as Kevin slash Mortis, the former homeless mushroom farmer mercenary. With uh, He doesn't really know who he is at the moment. As ne having an identity crisis, try to figure it out. Ah, yes. Figure it out, we shall. Not at all. Uh, Melody, tell us a little about Kiki. Um, Kiki is the future cult leader of the Court of the Tentacle, and these are my minions. I have no words. I really don't. Just having fun with this at that point. 
Do you. Do you. Uh, MC, why don't you tell us a little bit about Joseph? Okay. He's a psycho. <clears throat> and he's slowly upgrading, uh, slowly learning to uh, 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 to uh, uh, le to use his abilities. Um, regardless of my, what my colleagues believe, I am not a follower, nor am I a leader. I'm uh, Billy No Mates on my own, going going to go my own way. Because why not? Because why no, you're not? The right hand of my cult. No, I'm not. You douche, le douche. That's what you are. Anyway, yes, so, uh, and he's just, at, at the moment, out in the desert, searching for some friends. Because he doesn't have many friends. Doesn't do friends. I mean, you almost made friends with the pirate. Great, that's fantastic. Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, William, why don't you uh, tell us a little about Cypher there? Yes, uh, Cypher, he's a hacker. He's quite, he's, he's one of the older characters in the group, but he's the newest to the party. And at the moment, he's utilizing his hacking skills to help this, the, this ragtag bunch of characters with their, with their missions, with their adventures. And at the moment, uh, hacking's not, <laughs> my hacking hasn't been perfect and we actually got saved by a Kiki not knowing what she was doing so and befriending an AI that went rogue yeah <laughs> yeah so it's been uh yeah I, I'm uh, it's, it's an interesting journey very different to uh what he was expecting that's perfect all right <clears throat> let's do a little recap uh obviously it's been a lot of sessions a lot's going on anyone really wants a recap go watch the sessions figure it out themselves no uh last session there was a sandstorm fast approaching as our players helped with the bloom and seed extraction as it neared most of the group headed back to seek safety as joseph stayed behind with a few of the bloom hunters attempting to get the prized and highly valuable seed i guess prized so anyways using his powers he managed to extract it and they proceeded back as fast as they can to where well that's a good question the Bloom Hunters had made a camp in an executive airship that had crashed years before. Something having to do with Spire 11 uh, and the event that happened there. Kevin went off with Sophia to get Joseph uh, as their lev was brought there by the Hunters who found it and used the controls or some of the codes they found in the executive airship to maneuver it back to, uh, well, the airship. Uh, Cypher attempted to break into the airship systems, looking for Kiki, who went off on an expedition, uh, locating the executive's chamber by herself and a broken AI named Ruby. Using some of her plasma shell cells, she restarted the airship, uh, and the AI shut down the ship's defenses and uh, asked to be returned to AT. With the group back together, uh, Joseph having successfully made it with the bloom, uh, thanks to Kevin, uh, the group get back together uh, with the Bloom Hunters, celebrating their harvest as the storm rages above them. That was kind of a lame recap. Sorry, guys. Anyways, that's pretty much what happened. Uh, we got some stuff going. We're calling this a day with the Bloom Hunters. Not that I actually named these sessions, but there no, That's we are. a good name. Uh, give me a second. See? Oh, there's also a new color on the map. See that? I use purple because, you know, the Bloom's purple, so that made sense. But we're going to bring you all over here. I also... Took a little bit of time to redo this, so yeah, very you nice. have, uh, yeah, you can see there's, uh, that's the inside of the executive's airship's hangar. Uh, there are a new number of vehicles in said hangar. Uh, your lev is over here. There is a sand brawler, a couple of buggies, some of the larger transports, containers, and all the glowies are obviously bloom. Uh, that, that has not been packed up yet. Uh, why this, am I over here? I don't know, because you were exploring. Put yourself out here. Put yourself back here. There you go. Great. Uh, the seed has been stored in this container here, and everyone has congregated around this area. Uh, it's not an official bar, as pretty much, well, this large hangar didn't have a bar in it, and they don't, they might bring a lot of stuff. A bar is not one of them, so they pull, push together a bunch of, uh, well, containers to make like a table, uh, family style, as you can see there.
I agree. To you too. All right, where are you all? You can put yourselves. I believe you all were headed over to this area. Yeah, I think. Uh, what was I lost? I, I thought we were at the bar. Yeah, that yeah. is the bar. That yeah. is the bar. Yep, the bar's right there. Yeah. And then the table's over here. It's just like the big family table. There's not really seats or anything uh, at the bar. It looks like most, well, everyone's here. So this would be standing room. There are like uh, crates pulled up to people for them to sit over here. As as you're all kind of like there, this area back or this area over here, what you're looking at is you see one of the bloom hunters. Uh, and basically it's in a large, I don't know if you guys know how sunflower oil is pressed, but it's basically a large, I mean, these are basically the same size as sunflowers. You see a bunch of the bloom in a press. Uh, and there is one of the hunters which is squeezing it out I'm silently taking notes of this. Like, this is how you process bloom. Good, and good old squeeze. The liquid that comes out is obviously glowing purple. Uh, yeah, a stack of blossoms and a press. Uh, you see them bring it over to the bartender. The, you know, bartender, the guy who's mixing drinks at the moment. And he mixes the blossom water with, well, a liquor of some sort. For those of you that know what worm shine is, it looks like worm shine. He brings uh, a woman comes over, or one of the other hunters, starts picking them up and bringing them over to the uh, the table, and handing them out to everyone off a tray. Uh, she also stops and hands them to you all. Yeah, I accept Likewise. the cocktail. What's the matter? Scared of us? Nah, just trying to wait up this door. Uh, we're concerned about our friend we're trying to find. That was like this guy behind you. He's, he's yelling at you. <laughs> at least he's one of you trying. are. Yeah. Uh, okay, I, I will Good look night. over here. Try to get onto the seat. You see, if you remember the man, uh, which is named Alexander, you finally figure out. Uh, he's British basically standing here. And uh, yes, that's a good spot for you, Kevin, since uh, Sophia. I'll stand on the table. She'll walk over. They look standing at you, on Cypher. the table? <laughs> look at you, <laughs> curious, the Cypher. As they do a toast, uh, they finish their pressing, and the rest of the group comes over. There's also food, worm, beetles, stuff. Uh, and they do a little toast. What they say exactly, I don't know. But I should have put a glowing over here. There's to awesome. Bloom. There's bloom all over the table uh, as the wind continues to whip. Um, among the food, is there anything with like bones similar to like a turkey or lamb? Uh, yeah, I will say there is. What exactly? So um, some kind of desert creature. Yeah. He's gonna start eating by actually. T I'm going. <laughs> this might be the first time I get to use this since I do have the manner skill you said to take after Venus taught her. Nice. And the custom utensils made of. In assuming nano machines? Yes. Matter. Uh, let me see. Give me... I don't want that right now. Hold on. Give me a second. Sorry. Checking the notes or something. All right. What do you all want to say or do while you are waiting? This is uh... Um... I'm going to ask around to see if anybody, because we're going to Spire 11, aren't we? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask if anybody's got any information or anybody has been anywhere near the uh, Spire 11 to see if anybody's got any, got the lowdown. Oh, Spire or 11. Any rumors. Oh, Spire 11. We, uh, well, we stay away from that, especially after lately. 
you know, if the defenses weren't enough to dissuade him, the fact that, you know, so many people died, well, makes it a visit there less ap than appetizing. You know, there used to be a bunch of raiding parties, but ever, even they stopped when the barrier was put up. They lost countless men trying to get there, so, you know, whoever took residence really doesn't want visitors. I guess it was sheer luck that uh, they didn't fire at our little container drones here. You know, those are the biggest things that we, we put in and got that close. Not that we've come around. I mean, Fields of Bloom don't pop up ever so often, you know? Yeah, how often do you manage to actually extract a seed? It's rare. I mean, let's think about this. We literally just roam the wasteland. We have a bunch of different places we use for outposts. You know, those uh, that case of recon drones you were, had a hard on about? Well, we use those often. And I mean, you can never really know exactly where the bloom is going to pop up, but uh, we're pretty pretty spot on. No, we're, we're really spot on, as everyone says. We've been doing this long enough. It's almost, their bloom is almost regular in where it pops up, honestly. Hmm. So how do you, you can predict where they are, or do you just... Uh, it's like a seasonal thing, forward. one of the guys says, as he sucks back the uh. worm shine with the bloom. The blossom water. By the way, you're all drinking blossom water. Mixed with worm shine. Me too, Kiki. Nice. Okay. Um, so does my strength go up by two? It does. You know, it's, I mean, it takes a few weeks. Sometimes we could be out here for weeks before we find a, a bloom and stuff, but yeah, no, even though these are random, we could place ourselves in the general area. Um, before we leave, can I have more of this drink? <clears throat> the Alexander towards the end kind of like <clears throat> clears his throat to get everyone's attention. Speaking of leaving, well, I doubt you uh, you all know where you can sell this bloom for a good price. So, what do you want to do with it? I wanted to make mine into water. You want to make it into blossom water? That's a possibility. As far as I see it, we have two options. You can... Uh, well, you could wait to see what we could sell everything for or get a payout now. We all split everything equally, and right now the harvest is worth about 75,000 credits each. So, That's a tasty sum. If you don't want to do that, though, you're, by all means, you can take your share of the bloom and try to sell it yourself. I mean, honestly, we kind of don't even have time to try to sell this stuff at the moment. You guys seem more yeah. experienced. I'm okay with uh, taking a payout now if everybody else in the group is. Yeah, I'm happy with that. It's not really on our schedule to be hauling a ton of bloom around right now. He looks over uh, at his daughter, Sophia. And kind of like nods. She uh, takes out vault cards and gives you all. Uh, there's 80,000 credits. Oh, so, oh, so we each get 80,000 credits? That's correct. Very nice. Okay, Mike, I'm almost to 4,400,000 4, credits. Oh, well, when you hit 6 million, then you can use Afterlife. Nice. Anyways. Nice. <clears throat> oh, I guess using that in my case would technically be good for the corporations, since they would have my DNA. Does anyone yeah, have... you could get a discount then. <laughs> Say, hey, you're getting my uh, DNA. <laughs> right, let me add that to my... Alright, so all the uh, bloom that you got, uh, that you, well, it ended up on the floor, uh, uh, obviously when you guys kicked it out, it left to go get the seed. Um, but all that has been put into containers, your bloom is considered sold. Yes. Yeah, because what is it? You see how many there are. There's, what, 16 of them? So there's 20 yep. individuals, so that would be a almost a 2 million. Is that right? 1.5 million? Without, without obviously, making lots of water and stuff, but which would up the yeah. price. As they continue, and you all get another round of blossom water. Nope. 
bad that effect doesn't stack. Sorry. Would, Although, like, with your um, addiction to it, so. is there debuffs if you're not on it? Yeah, I'll actually... Uh, Wait, I thought the addiction my was second. only due to the fact that it was in process. Still mm. an addiction, isn't it? Yeah, it's for the blossoms, so... Uh, well, how would you how would you feel about them? You know, pocket them. I don't know. You're gonna have to RP that however you want, but you still. I mean, the blossom water is delicious, but you're still like uh, like side eyeing the, the containers of bloom. <laughs> She's very traumatized by it, but she also she also technically woke up with blossom water, so technically for her that's a soothing element. Uh, Patrick, Kevin, what were you gonna say? Oh, that second round of blossom water. I'm gonna just pour that into a flask and save that for later. I think so my canteen's filled. Sophia kind of like looks at you and kind of like chuckles. We have plenty of that. Could always just give you some. Wow, well, I appreciate it. Where we're going, we, we might need it. Uh, thanks, probably about to get rough horse. I personally wouldn't be going to the spire but why are you all headed there anyways I'm I'm search and rescue you. yeah um when did when did the shield go up can anyone tell us that um yeah i was did, wondering do you guys that, hear me or was i cut off we also that at the same time <laughs> uh, uh wait what did he say he specifically said to find my mom Oh, I said yeah. such. Everyone kind of, it was great. Everyone said the same, like, different things. So it kind of, like, overlapped. <laughs> so everyone just kind of, like, looked around the table and, like, okay, uh, sure. These guys don't even know yeah. what they're doing. <laughs> that was just perfect. Uh, they, they tell you that the shields, it, it's been maybe a couple of years since it's gone off. But they don't know for sure, as they said, that they leave the area often. Once they find a field of bloom, pretty much they're not going to find another one in this area. So. So where can we find you guys again? If we, you know, want to help out again? Oh, you just want to find our our grounds, huh? Uh, do Do we look like professional blossoms? <laughs> yeah, you've seen the what we managed to pull. Yeah, Kevin, give me a but, reception check. Oh no. At least I got somewhat perception. I just want to make sure I'm not about to roll a D12, you know, or D, D20. D20. <laughs> Don't roll a D12. <laughs> Don't roll a D12. Look at that natural 12. All right. Well, uh, let's just put it this way Sophia has taken a liking to you. It's not hard to tell. Hey, Kevin, of course Kevin notices that once. Yeah. She was very, being very friendly towards you. You know, the kind of like brushing against her hands and stuff too. Hey, Occasionally. Kevin. Just for, just for the <laughs> hell of it. And, uh, and considering the state of euphoria, happiness, Kiki is in, can I roll a charisma roll? Yeah, uh, yes. Are you going to wingman for Kevin now? <laughs> um, maybe. Don't steal this girl now. I don't think you'll be able to steal I need, the girl. Well, I need everyone to do endurance checks. Not you, Kiki. You can give me a charisma oh, check. Endurance is um, something else, which I don't know. I've now got a massive white square on my roll. I'll take the these rolls tonight. Really? That's not good. Yeah, how do I... What do you yeah, I'll do my roll and then re endurance reload. Uh, oh, endurance. God! Yeah. <laughs> This is great. I'm gonna. Uh, how is everybody at the table? Oh well, wait, let, let's. Who are we missing? Hang on, I've not rolled yet. Yeah, hold on. Uh, all right, let me. I'm just gonna leave them. Okay. Rejoin oh wow, you're all. Twenty-two bitches. All right, your endurance <laughs> is pretty high, but uh, Kiki, how would everyone be feeling right now? Um, she's currently um, just all giddy, happy, and more thinking of like childlike wonder. I would say. Uh, so I'm we not... all have well, the, bliss, just... the blissful happiness Euphoric. of childhood. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. So if anything, I mean, Four. you guys all made it. If, if I don't know. So you you just notice. Hold on. Just make a mid. Oh wait, that totally. That's not how you roll this. That's fine. I love how I was on a twelve and I just knocked over. That's cool. Uh, yeah, there's definitely some of the hunters, uh, which you know are are feeling quite nice. They're all kind of getting euphoric. It's not nothing. Nobody feels bad. Nobody's traumatized right now. We'll say, but there's definitely some happy people. You don't know if it's the blossom water or whatnot, but. Kevin pulls out his comms, like, puts it on loudspeakers, like, let's get some music started, and he starts playing rock. <laughs> and, and this is how Kiki starts to rave. I go and hack the light system into strobe effects, and... <laughs> <laughs> you got all the purple around, too? This is fantastic. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. All right, you guys, yeah, I mean, it turns into, like, that scene in The Matrix where Owen's in the fucking cave, and then <laughs> Yeah. And the music, and it makes complete sense. Yeah. You know? So everyone's just having a great time before, you know, death and destruction. That's what I'm sensing here. Um, yeah. Essentially. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can give me one more just to D12, Kevin. Okay. Yeah. Things are going very nicely if you want them to. You want them to go very badly. <laughs> yeah, j just the worst time. You know? <laughs> the horrible night right before we all die. Before you die, you're going to die. I'm going to be fine. Uh, you know what? Last time I, was, I run out into a sandstorm to try to save you. <laughs> yes, because you're a dick. I didn't need saving. If Ouch. I remember rightly, you ran into a sandstorm for no reason whatsoever. Uh, we are actually saving the seed. That's what. We're doing. <laughs> La douche. Uh -uh. All right, Kevin. How well, are you? I was trying to find Kiki. Kiki. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Things are going well. Yeah. They do good saving you okay. guys. Kiki, what are you doing? Um, she's probably eating. Okay. Bones. Oh, kid, you can, you can, your stomach can handle that. Yeah. I assume they can see her razor sharp teeth as it's essentially just eating no. the bone yeah. like butter. Yeah, they're very, uh, they're very taking interest in you. You're a bit of a freak. Oh, freak. This, this is not going to work the way I wanted it to. All right, uh, only a like couple of them. Like you keep rolling a one and a know, twelve. Right? Uh, we'll say like a couple of them are are weary. Uh, as one of them's kind of like, oh, I thought, I thought that was like some kind of like frame or augs you got there, but that's not it, is it? You are a special kind of group. I mean, you got this guy down there who can levitate shit with his mind, and then, well, you can looks like you can house anything. My character smiles because he's great, and. We don't know it because he never takes off his mask. Well, he does. The, no, he has taken it because he's drinking, so he has to take off his mask. Uh, I would say give me. Um, who's sensitive here? I am. Okay. Not me um, anymore. I need uh, an endurance check, not because of the lighting in here, which is very low, especially with the glow, uh, which is quite nice, by the way, for Mr. Sensitive. But somebody's got music going. Uh, then do you want me to roll two, even with the amulet? Uh, yeah, give me a roll, I and mean, then you could always roll one. Uh, and nobody t has done anything to power that up, so it's going to be failing soon. What? Sixteen. Quick, we need to power up the amulet. <laughs> <laughs> then everyone's... That's decent. For some reason in this game, I forget about, like, basic checks like low difficulties only six i always go with like 12 for some reason so as long as you get through that 12 threshold usually you'll be okay uh this is not a hard one uh but all right okay so you're actually okay i will say it's like you know when you go to clubs you go into the clubs and get the loud thumping music it's kind of like almost too much for you but you're able to handle it uh as the guys uh, so... like the hunters that are next to you uh joseph one of them kind of like points to like the glass in front of him. He's like, can you can you lift levitate that? Can you do that one? Uh, 
I look and I say, I'll try. And I will use the psychic powers to do it, but I'm not going to do it at infinitum. I'm not everyone's entertainment. Oh, no, I, I, I get that. We just we would just want to see that. I mean, that's an amazing ability. It's almost like it's almost like one of those gravity mages. Oh, yeah, the gravity mages they all start to talk about. They can manipulate stuff. You know, is that is that what you're doing, or is it really just like I No. It is definitely mine. Here okay. we go. Um, natural 12. Well. Yeah. Oh. Um, not only does the glass lift up, but every glass on the table lifts up. And that all the, and most of the bottles are on, on the bar as well. Oh, so uh, lifts up out of my hand as I'm trying to drink it. Yeah, Alexander <laughs> gla- grabs his while well, I do that, and he kind of like looks as all these glowing. Remember, all of them are glowing. It's very nice. So you got all these freaking everything's just like raised up and glowing. Uh, yeah, you can manipulate all that as much as you want. It, it's been a bit since I did this, but could I eat the glass that Kiki's drinking from? Could and she pull it back down using her tentacles as it just coils around it. Give me a strength check, sure. I mean, your strength checks against his uh, telepathy. Yeah. Oh, I didn't roll for Alexander because. <laughs> nope. So you go to reach the glass, but you're not able to, or the mug, you're not able to pull it back down. You see Kiki struggling to get her glass chosen. I, I, I will dangle out of reach for a moment, just for the sake of humor, and then I will... I imagine t- her tentacles are already wrapped around it, so while you do that, you just lift her up. But that's fine. <laughs> She's hanging off by her tentacles. So, Kevin, while you're over here uh, talking to Sophia, uh, yeah, Kiki, like, Sophia kind of, like, looks over your shoulder, uh, catching your attention of, like, well, all right, what's going on? Uh, where you see Kiki kind of, like, yeah, gripping this gla- this mug as t- she starts to, like, levitate. I just turn back. Oh, she'll be fine. Grab my glass out of the air. Take a sip. Don't break conversation. Now give me a strength check for that. Remember, it's against, what'd you roll? It's 19? Yeah, you gotta be the 19. Cypher, let me go. Hmm? Let me I'm go. not doing anything. So you go to grab it, <laughs> you also just can't tug it down. Joseph, let go. What? What? And you know, I, I will draw her up so she's stretched and she's like dangling by her tentacles. And I'll go, okay, fair enough, and I'll, and I'll, I'll lower the glasses. And I'm sure there will be a bit of a laugh when she's out there dangling with her tentacles. Oh, it's it a sight like, to see. She just looks mad at you. My character just smiles. Cypher. Yes. What are you doing there? That's all this is going <laughs> on. <laughs> I'm just enjoying the light show. Like, yeah, this is... I'm, uh, oh. yeah, just making oh, just small talk like with the harvesters around me. Just um. talking about Bloom. Did anyone notice the fact that the edges of Kiki's glass are melted? I mean, we're probably used to it at this point. I mean, like any of the room hunters. Yeah, I'd say probably the ones like across from you. Uh, or do they? Hold on. Let me do it. Let me, let me, hold on. There we go. That's proper. I had, to, I had to put that thing. Table's now lit up. Give me a second, because they are talking to Cypher and stuff as the drinks are lowered back to the table. Uh, let's see. Yeah, most of them are engaged. There's like one who kind of like looks, but at this point, I mean, with your, with how you look and everything that's going on with your group, you just kind of, they don't mention anything. Uh, but yeah, your mug is pretty much, well, disintegrating <laughs> more and more. Even though you're being careful, you do have etiquette and all this other stuff now, so. It's not as bad as it used yeah. to be. And make sure Joseph can't get her glass. She's gonna eat it. Chomp, chomp. Okay, you eat your glass. <laughs> Stare, I'm guessing. Well, how do you eat your glass? She just drops it into 
Imagine her long tongue comes out, wraps around, and just sucks it in like a whale. Just imagine her staring Joseph down as she does um, this. I want to say Kirby. Jo Joseph is not worried in the slightest. He does not care. Time will continue to pass. Is there anything specific you're trying to get out of them, Cypher? For like the bloom, what are you? Uh, I guess like uh, the going rates that you know things like how kind of they've sold it before. Because you know, I mean, at the moment, I was happy to just take the price that they gave. But I'm thinking of you know like when we get back to the cities, you know, what's the sort of. Uh, rates that we could do in case you know we managed to somehow come across a bloom field again okay. i just want to know how the value that we're aiming for pretty much uh you know they they're like well you just can't sell this on any street corner it's not you know you're gonna have to find a, a good buyer somebody who can either make blossom water out of it or who wants it and actually if you go to the, like the big cities you're gonna get less than you are for uh, you know being on some of the outlaying areas and they kind of like tell you the pricing i think the pricing is in the book so you can mm, i think you said maybe. the other day but i think it might have been maybe I'm like, you know, actually it's not here. extreme prices mm -hmm. yeah no because uh, i think you wait what is it? here it is i think i noted it down it's about all right in book price is 200 dollars or 200 credits for a bloom and usually seeds are like one to two million credits depending on where you can sell them. Obviously you get more mm -hmm. if you distill everything into Blossom Water. But yeah, Blooms are 200. And Stocks even, so I think Stocks you can get like 100 for. But this is all stuff they just kind of, you know, have no problem sharing. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not like trying to make them you know, it's more conversational, just like, oh, yeah, so, you know, what do you usually... Oh, okay, cool, nice, nice. I That's have a messed up idea. Is this in or out of character? <laughs> out of character. How would you guys feel about if I use my chemical gland to essentially get these guys to raid the spire with us? You do what you want, but we, I don't I mean, think, I think... I think in character, too I many. don't support that. But also, because, you know, in character, I kind of want to, to, you know, keep contact with these guys in case, you know, it's good money adventure. Money venture for uh, Okay, us in then the we won't lead them to the death. <laughs> yeah. No, you can't use them as fodder. <laughs> I can. You can make them give us more money first, then put them out <laughs> Oh, shoot, you want me to ask if no, they no, can no, 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 I don't want... No, it's, it's no don't fun. ruin his chance. He's gonna, he's gonna pull. Yeah, we need to. Oh yeah, you can't kill Kevin's uh, possible GF. What is with everyone suddenly getting laid? It's the wasteland. It was um. missing. Oh god, this is good. All right. <clears throat> so the uh, well, day or night continues. The storm continues. You all had some time to rest uh, or do other things. So, wanting so, Kevin, as Sophia kind of like takes you towards the sand brawler. And there are like areas in here that they set up to sleep. Uh, actually, no, she'll take you to like this truck over here. It's got room in it. If you so go. Yeah, Ke Kevin's not objecting. All right, so yeah, <laughs> she grabs your hand and disappears. Uh, you did, though, give me another perception check. Do you remember the comment she made last session? Joke. No. The joke is, uh, alright, you kind of, like, her father's, like, right there, right? He doesn't say anything as she, like, grabs you and, like, pulls you off. Uh, I believe last session she was jokingly said, uh, oh, you have a problem with fathers? Or something like that, I can't find it exactly. Anyways, uh, yep. I'm just gonna put you down here. Alright, uh, the rest of the party, as everyone kind of like 
goes off to get Shutai. Uh, where are you going and what are you doing? Are you getting Shutai as well? Or? Uh, I'm following Kevin. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God>. I, I, <laughs> I say, hey guys, what's going on? No, no. um, or, or so how many? <laughs> no, uh, no. Hey, yeah, if we are doing that Matrix scene, then um, no, the is everyone like all the other hun uh, harvesters going off to sleep as well? Yeah, they are slowly uh, dwindling out. Okay, I'm not gonna. Yeah, I, I finish. I finish up my chit chats with the the guys next to me and finish my drink and then yeah I'm heading off to uh Arlev for some shut eye. Okay. This is what oh one is yes. it? Cool yeah, you got the glowies yeah. with the cool. levitation. You're the you're the only vehicle in here that has levitation pads. Everything else is wheeled. Yeah. Um nice. for the hell of it, I will follow Kevin. Oh god, no. Can I can I intercept because I, I wanna know if I uh, Give me Percept, a, yeah, like give if me, I've yeah. done a perception to yeah. see if you know the Kevin and thingy. Yeah, give me so a perception check. And then... Yeah, because I, I want to, you know, wingman him from a distance. Yeah, yeah, leave him alone. He's pulled. Leave him alone. I'm gonna say probably between the two of you at the table. Yeah, you're able to notice Kiki like start to follow him. <laughs> okay, I I uh, employ Kiki distraction operation <laughs> Kiki distraction. <laughs> um. Key version? Uh, um, I take you to the. Okay, oh, Kiki, look at the pretty bloom. Look at this. Look at the bright colors. You like that stuff, right? She... Okay, she would start running towards Kevin. I tackle Kiki. <laughs> Rugby tackle. Uh, 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 leap on her. I do, a f f yeah, flying. Tackling <laughs> the small child. I see. Get down! <laughs> get down uh, I guess I'm rolling speed, huh? Get, get, get down, down the... Mr. President. Get down! <laughs> Grab the bazooka! Get to the chopper! Get to the chopper! Sorry, I have to do oh, that. I rolled speed. <laughs> speed, the need for uh, speed. Do I need to. Speed check as well. Yep. Speed check to see if you can catch her. Quick enough. Mm -hmm. and then you can give, if you catch her, then you can. Uh, uh, what's that? Your strength? You did the twenty-one. Speed. Uh, no, that was my um, perception. perception. Okay, yeah, yeah. So yeah, speed this to catch my... her. If you get high enough. <clears throat> no, you don't. No. She's... Can I? Yeah. Can I use my powers to grab her? <laughs> yeah, you got her. Lift her off the ground and sort of bring her back slowly. Did you it need this natural toll. Yeah. <laughs> I will give it a go. This is give... the most important time to get a critical success. It's not really. <laughs> not <laughs> yeah. really. I think, I think Kevin would say it is. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Oh, God. Failed. Nope. So, Kevin is going to be disturbed. Even though I'm sure he's quite disturbed already. But... Yeah, they are... Uh... Like, did you start running after him? Right when he was leaving the table with her, her Kiki? Uh, no, a bit after. Okay, so they're already, like, inside, we'll say, Kevin. Uh, you can don't continue don't running uh, as the other ones are. Joseph's trying to talk sense into you, is that what I'm hearing? No, I wasn't. No, I, I, I'm going to make an effort to use my psychic power to, to retain her, but if she gets away, she gets away. I'm going to let someone else deal with that. Okay, so yeah, you, you're free to go, um, Kiki. If you I want to, uh, man. Can I try and get Kiki again? <laughs> I need to. Don't make me use force. I'm gonna take out my sidearm. <laughs> oh, you just eat it. Oh my okay. god, you are that determined. Was, that was perception to see if she saw where uh, Kevin went. Well, she did then. He didn't make an effort to hide. He just walked <laughs> off with her. But she could have not. She's a child, and she was distracted by you guys, so she could have lost track. Right. Okay. Well, I. I yeah. Okay. I thought that was pretty fitting. Yeah. Sure. I'm sorry, Kevin. Kevin, I'm give trusting. me a uh, D12. Just a straight D12. Uh, 
Oh yeah, things are going. <laughs> things are going very nicely. You guys are rolling a lot of twelves today. I don't know. Yeah, uh, like it's only yeah, me we're, and Kevin. We're using them all now. Uh, we're gonna roll ones when we're about to die and shit. <laughs> yeah, Kevin's got the rope, you know, from his climbing gear he kept with him. Why? Why are Have we? a great time. Lasso. Why are we always rolling twelves when it's just joking around? Perfect. <clears throat> all right. Uh, yeah, things are going quite nicely for you at the moment, we'll say. Uh, Kiki, what are you doing since you're there? Remember, there are no windows. These are all... Well, there are no windows in my world. Everything's, you know, uh, armored vehicle. So that you can't peek in, in other words. Uh, uh, I get it rocking backwards and forwards. I'd say it's been a little bit of time. It could be at this point already. Whoa, well, hey. Whoa, well, hey. Well, hey. Suits you, sir. Suits you. What are you doing, Kiki? I'm rolling an intelligence roll. Pretty good. It's over 12. Yeah. I'm gonna just sit out here and wait. <laughs> if it was under 12, so she would have tried opening it. <laughs> so creepy. Uh, Cypher. I mean, continuing out. He's like a monster from the depths. So. Um, I don't want to get close in case I'm accused of being a perv. So I just I start like <laughs> like like a like I'm trying to call over it. I'm like Kiki, get, get back here, come over, get away from there. Like, like, come on, Kiki, back, Kiki. She's How just, is Kiki responding? Three mains just, there. She just zoned out. Just yeah. She she looks like a creepy porcelain doll. God. Sitting there and staring into blank space. Um, I just can I try and persuade Kiki? I'm gonna. I want to do like a. Speech charisma check. I know that's suicide against Kiki's charisma. Can't hurt to try. Uh, I'll so prepare the roll. Eight. <laughs> no, I could roll a one. Please. <laughs> uh, speech, speech, speech. Okay. Kiki, come on, come away from there. <laughs> It's, <laughs> you'll learn one day, you'll understand one day why you're being exceptionally creepy. And here's the rule. Oh fuck. Okay, that's not going to do it. Oh yeah, she uh, doesn't, doesn't move. How about, do you want to join me over here? I say, excuse me? <laughs> You can give give uh, Cypher. Give me a, are you using Are you using that charisma there, Kiki, to get him to yeah. step with you? Yeah, Cypher, give me another one. Oh my God! Your Kiki, what the fuck are you doing? See, are you trying to literally can, get me kicked out into this wall? Kiki, you can give me another one too. It's a separate action. I literally rolled the exact same. <laughs> yeah, you did. Less. Uh, you are. <laughs> Do I know by now to try and get away? If like, is is the charisma really that like effective for me? <laughs> if she's using a glance. Yeah. What's? Are you use? You've got your little chemical. What's the range on that thing now? Um, I think we said it's to... scaled the level, yeah, and it's so currently it be... evolving, so it's massive. So I mean, even like you're walking in a pheromone trail. I'm gonna just because. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. You know, you're, yeah, she's just uh, leaving pheromones uh, everywhere right now. But uh, the typical range would be seven from, like, it would be a circumference. So it would probably be like four. So typically it would be close. No, not that. Circum it would be diameter of seven. I okay, think. so I'm out of the strong range, technically. Yeah. No, like. No, that's a radius of seven. Oh, um, circumference is. Yeah, it. Well, diameter, 
I don't remember. Talking across. Anyways, <clears throat> we're gonna say for shits and giggles that you are in her uh, pheromone plume, okay. and uh, she yeah, her yeah. suggestion is very enticing, <laughs> especially with everything that's been going on with the blossom water. Uh, uh, not that I want you to, but yes, you are inclined to go over. <laughs> Joseph, just fuck you. <laughs> I'm just like fucking way out of this. I am way out of this. Do I, I do I now have to do I now have to move over or can I? Is there is there anything I can do to not go over? Um, I would say maybe. I pull out my gun and end it all. I pull out my gun and end it all. I just. That's fine. We're, we're no, because you are out of like the main range, so the fair like you're you take a couple of steps before you come to your senses and you're like, wait, what the fuck am I doing? Uh, I, okay. I won't. I won't. I'll just let you. I'll let you do that. Okay. Just say. So okay, thank you. And then I'll have to try and challenge again, I suppose. I'm. I'm not going to try and persuade Kiki. <laughs> I mean, hit. there's always a chance I've all won. Jesus. Uh, I. Wait, Kiki, do you have a com stem on you? Uh, she does. Okay. I'm wondering if I can go further away and try talking to her through the phone instead, because I'm all not risking. Yeah, I do think all uh, of you I, have comms. So. Uh, Sorry, I am not... Uh, I, my cat goes away, goes to sleep on his own in the, in the <laughs> lev. He's perfectly happy to let... Because they can't get in... They can't. St well, they can try and disturb him, but he's like to start throwing sh throwing shit at them. So, um, I'm trying to yeah. do the opposite of disturbing. I'm trying to. <laughs> but you're failing. Uh, th there is a point, sir, uh, where you just have to go. Okay, that's not working. I know, but I, that's what I'm trying to do now. But he's got me in there. Sorry. For the sleaze ball from when we were picking up the gal. Uh, for the whole Keystone deal. In the... Where I met the... I don't even know if I When we were attacked there. by those augments that had machine guns. When, what, when Kevin got sniped again? Uh, no, before that. It was oh. before you arrived. Wait, before I was even playing? Yeah. Oh, okay. What was the question? Wait, so, yeah, I'm confused now. If it's not, a, if I don't know what the hell's going on, I don't know who you're talking to. I want to give me, give me <laughs> another intelligence show. I'm going to say, remember, you've been going through archives and books and stuff. Oh, wait, wait, me? Uh, no, keep it. Oh, okay. Okay. This is when you roll a one. Bye. That would be quite funny. <laughs> Telling you. Almost. All right. All right. So yeah, I mean, there is a one in this. I'm gonna say that maybe you have a little more of an idea of what uh, humans do for recreation and reproduction. Probably. So it's up to you. Confusing to her, but she walks away. Okay. All right. I'm assuming I'm no longer under. Yeah, no, you're good. The, the aura of you, Kiki. You broke through. Yeah. Uh, you were not good. close enough. Oh. Uh, Kevin's, um... King of Kiki? Hmm? Yeah. So, I feel like at that point, it's the one thing that retained of her, the fact that she used to speak in third part per person. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, referring to babies as kikis, essentially. Oh, okay. Sorry, I, I miss I, I missed what you said then. Essentially, making a kiki. Oh, okay. I'm like, uh, you could say that, I guess, and then I just say, uh, I just direct kiki over to the left, saying, "Let's let's get some shots." I, you know, we've got a big day tomorrow. He's gonna run off again run into that little executive suite. Okay, well, alright. Alright, kid, knock yourself out. <laughs> and then I go back to the left. Suddenly the tactical new detonates. And I'm the <laughs> only one who's safe. Was that a euphemism, uh, <laughs> Kevin? <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah, he calls sure. his swimmers new. 
Yeah, I'll hear the truck horn blaring. <laughs> it's the other way, Keith. Uh, all right, everyone is well indisposed or resting. Uh, those two gentlemen are. Uh, do you think Joseph snores? Or are you back? Uh, no, inside? no, no. But it, let's be honest, he is. He is. He'll. He'll. In order to get decent sleep, not to get disturbed, he'll have his uh, mask back, his helmet back on. So he will. He won't. He, he. He will be effectively isolated from the world with regard to that. To be honest. Uh, Kiki, what are you doing uh, inside Executive Chamber? It's nice and cool and dark. Or, well, not dark to you, because you can see Which is probably more preferable for her, since the lights were too blurring. Yeah. It's relaxing. What I are you doing? In there. Just sits in the corner. Wait, is the death still there? No, it's all gone. Okay. Sits in the corner, wraps herself up in tentacles like a little... Um, Eldritch Cocoon, and just that's Wait a second, I have to find something. <laughs> Alright. Eldritch Cocoon, I can't stop thinking about that now. Everyone's getting some shut eye, or, you know, other things. No, eventually everyone will get some shut eye. Uh, as you all stare at the back of your eyelids or tentacles. Well, um, or which remind me, how much XP did we get from last? Never went oh, over that. I, I didn't tell you guys that, did I? Haha, uh -huh, see, I was all over the place. Uh, fine, while I look this up, you all are getting 52, 4 for the session streak, and 12 for the session. So, you all have another 52 experience. You're welcome. Uh, let me find this. Thank you. Hey. <clears throat> I think I level up too. Damn, already? Alright, Kevin. <clears throat> oh, yeah, you're a first one. After your uh, fun time, your session, you did fall asleep finally, uh, getting some well-deserved rest. Your dreams, though, are fragmented, troubling even, as a lot of them are of Mortis. It's hard to make out faces, but you hear voices, and you see familiar faces. A girl who you have, well, you feel a big connection to, or a great connection with. Although everything is hard to make out in a fragment. However, she calls your name, but it is not Kevin she calls. Mortis. Mortis. And that's when you wake up. Give me a, uh, give me a luck check. Yay, my not my biggest skill. All right. <clears throat> it's over 12. It wasn't a hard one. Uh, you wake up and the woman has been replaced with obviously Sophia, who's looking at you worried. You okay? She says. You realize that you're covered and drenched in sweat. Uh, and it appeared that you were almost going to hit her. That's Pull back. Rub my brow. Gotta shake the head. Yeah. This is a nightmare. I get this a lot these days. But I won't share any details of the dream. She kind of smiles. I'm not going to describe it. Anyways, she smiles. Uh, what's, the, uh, what's the proper term? There's a word I'm looking for, and for some reason it escapes me at the moment. I don't want to say slyly. Uh, as she lays down on you and goes for another round. There we go. Oh my, all right. Kevin doesn't argue. <clears throat> all right, everyone wakes up. Uh, you see the following. Pretty much everyone's spread out around uh, the area, as it seems the sandstorm has, well, dissipated, since the door over here is wide open. You also come to find out 
that they do travel with an armor and they do have a small supply if there is anything specific you are not equipped and ready with. Um, what tier, up to what tier do they have? Like basic stuff, no restricted anything. Okay. I wanted to see if they had any plasma up and all that. No, I think all plasma weaponry is restricted, isn't it? Uh, I, mean, yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah. I don't believe it is. So, yeah, they don't have anything like that. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, it's any... fine. I still, I still have seven cartridges. I, I used to have ten. I spent them all on the battery. Are there any uh, explosives they have? Uh, the supply does have some basic like grenades and stuff, yes. Okay. How much do you grenades weigh? Some incendiary sure. grenades. They, they, they've got, like I said, anything that's... They do have any of that stuff. I'm not going to say they have like a huge weaponry or a, a munitions depot or anything, but they do have some grenades and stuff. Uh, <clears throat> as you get done with your, your round, Kevin, uh, <laughs> Everything gets clothed and stuff. She brings you four, well, you remember that case of drones she had? <clears throat> we'll say that you're probably like in the hangar again. And she like brings you four of these drones. She's like, maybe these can help you. You do know the spire is not a small structure, right? These will actually absolutely be of use. <clears throat> yeah, well, we've been advised by everybody we ran into not to go there. Uh, I would say we're gonna need to be every bit of equipment we can get. Four small recons. And if you keep them all to yourself, that's to be. Is anyone looking for anything else? <clears throat> yeah. I won't be carrying okay. all my equipment anyway. Some of it's going to have to stay in the lab because I'm not very really strong. So. Yeah, how many grenades can I take? Or, I mean, is it? do I have to buy them? Oh, you got to buy them. Well, okay, I'll leave it then. I'm, I'm quite... <laughs> I'm on the cusp of being overweight, so... I'll leave it for now. Okay. He has still not returned. Okay, well, I don't. Did we see where Kiki went? Uh, I think she went back to the chamber. And then I don't disclose on what else she was doing because I don't want to make Kevin feel weird. <laughs> yeah, you guys can congregate if you want. <clears throat> Free run. Uh, let me check well, I've got nothing that I want to buy. I think I've got what I need. Let me just make sure I actually have the explosives skill before I <laughs> kill everyone by accident. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, don't on. worry, you don't need that skill, that's fine. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't have that skill. Skill. But what, what, if I don't have the explosive skill, what happens? Uh, negative four for Monastor. all your rolls. Okay, I'm getting the explosive skill. So. Wait, really? Yep. Oh, what, does Grenade have a unique skill? Uh, it does. Explosives. Oh, I, so even then would, would that, um, before I, uh, lock that in, would that mean that if I was to, like, you know, set up for a system overload to explode, would that contribute to it at all? Uh, no, because that would be using, like, your, like, you're talking about, like, hacking or overloading something, a reactor. Yeah. Yeah, this is just when you're what using the, so, things that go boom. Okay. Outside okay. of, like, hacking. And so... Classic explosives, okay. detonations, mines. Okay, uh, I was just wondering if there was like a way of combining the two, where it would be like, you know, I set up a 
Oh, oh do yeah. I, like, yeah, you can remove. Uh, and then and hack stuff? it. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Set them up on a remote. Okay. Yeah, I just want to make sure that I can, I don't know, somehow uh, boost, <coughs> boost my skill on that. Or boost my check on it. Uh, I, I guess I'm probably right. going to need to take the explosive skill at some point. Uh... Is there a way to graft explosives? Is there like a skill for that? Wait, for what? To like make explosives, you know, if there was like I had to do like a oh, shift. Yeah. You got a high enough level on that, you'll definitely be able to. Some stuff to okay, so it's just part of the explosives. Yeah. But tree. Okay, cool. Or does it need cool. chemistry for doing that too? Hmm. Well, I was gonna say it depends on what kind yeah. of explosives you're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. It depends what you're doing because you can make Shut explosives out, out of <laughs> yeah. petrol. And... Yeah. Oh, imagine Pet hiring a genesis to make a bio grenade, essentially All right, you guys a are... living grenade. Because I, I mean, if I've got my hacking, wait, is there a chemistry? Oh, uh, there is. Get hmm. under the specialized skills. Yeah, you need a certain. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, it depends what you're gonna, what you're gonna make for explosives. Okay. High yield, low yield. I've got biogenetic weapons. Oh, would cybernetics come into that at all? Like if I make like a. I mean. Cyber. <laughs> cyber <explosive> pump. Yeah. <laughs> you could do. Uh, it. Remember, open world game. I'm not a. Yeah, yeah. Anything, okay. Just as long as it makes sense within the physical realm. All right. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So. Fine. I'll, I'll stop. Uh, <laughs> going through the all right okay uh, yeah i'm all good then for setting up yeah did these guys have ir goggles i could buy yeah if they, i mean the supplies got anything basic so they they do we'll say your helmet you don't have any in your suit well i got a full metal <clears throat> helmet but i don't think i ever bought any upgrade for that oh this is perfect okay yeah i will go ahead and get that <clears throat> Technically, I could take him through right now. Are you still in the executive chamber, by the way? Yes, she is. <laughs> I think you still are. went together. Comms. And does someone try to contact you on the comms? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, once we get ready to head out, I'll I'll reach out to you. Just uh, call her up. Hey, hey, kiddo, we're about to get ready to step two. <laughs> you get a grunt. There, we'll change her color. How about that? And we'll change his too. So, are we all ready or what? Uh, yeah, sorry, I was muted. I'm already. I'm all good. Do we have. Wait, do we have Kiki or not? I don't She's know. Still... Yeah. She being difficult. She disappearing. Kiki! Kiki! Um, keep in mind, you could just go get her. Yeah. Could we? I thought, I thought you had to get her. No, it, it's open. Oh. It's open. Yeah, I, I have no clue. We marched down window. the I was busy. Yeah, hey, you guys been there, remember? Yeah. We marched down the corridor and. Grab Kiki by the ear follow. and go, oi! <laughs> you little miscreant. Come on, we've got a job to do. Just see her wrapped around a bundle of tentacles, ripping something oozy. Anyway, enough of this from policy, it's time to move on. What? Come on. Fine. We gotta go find Liviosa. Um, fun fact, more sessions and I'm level 7. That's very exciting, thank you for sharing that. <laughs> Starts of getting 7,000 XP. Anyway, it, <clears throat> are you all moving start out? heading out. Yes. Yes. Alright, who's uh, going up first? What are you doing? Uh, you're going on foot, I assume, or, or not? Are you taking the lev? Uh, I'm going on foot because the lev, we're worried about the energy shield taking the lev out. Good. 
uh, or lev being taken out by weapons. Are you leaving the lev in the executive airship? We will. We, we can get back into it, can't we? You'll be able to, yes. Yes, in that case, leave it there. It's nice and safe. Okay. That's all I need to know. Just wanted to make sure. Verified stuff. For you guys. I pass Sophia my comm link. I'm like, I'll call you if we don't die. All right, you exchanged contact information. Once again, as you know how comms work, unless you have an advanced comm, uh, it's not going to work unless you're close. But you have her contact information. Second, who go? Who's going up first? Uh, all of you, we'll say. Moving out. Uh, okay. No, we push Kevin to go first. Yeah, I'll be kind of fun. Made it. He has we nothing will, to, look to lose. We will step out like uh, the astronauts going to Apollo down the corridor. I was thinking more like Reservoir Dogs myself. <laughs> I like that idea. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. Here's and Mr. I'm Mr. White. The four of you ascend to the ramp. Uh, leaving the executive airship, entering the desert. As I said, the storm has passed, and as you step out, you see Alexander looking through a long-distance optic at Spire 11. He looks over at the four of you, concerned, and hands out, holds out the optic. I take uh, it. All right. He says, look at the top of the spire. No, give me a perception check. One said anything otherwise. For the one who took the optic. If anyone has long range optics, you can feel free to give me reception checks too. Uh, you don't uh, see shit. Do, 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 does my. Does me. Alright, it's back on. Hopefully, uh, we didn't lose too much of the video. I probably hit exit or something when I tried to minimize. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. That's so sad. What were we doing? Sorry about that. That threw my mojo off. I was so excited too. Uh, pistols. Let's see what it is. Pistolas. Pistol. Your cryogenic pistol. Uh, yeah, you're right. It doesn't have any firing capability on that. However, since the rounds per turn is three, that means you can only fire up to three rounds per turn. It's not burst capable. Uh, and, it's a single. Yeah, I, I might be changing some stuff. We'll talk about that later. But not during this fight. We'll just assume it's single. Just okay, like the, I, the I wanted to make sure on that. First, but... Okay, uh, what are you doing, Cypher? Uh, I am fire... Well, oh, sorry, Nick. First of all, I want to look for... Uh, a... Well, I'll, I'll, for the benefit of everyone, I'll do the... Check what its armor class is. I guess perception would be better for this. Maybe that's more insight. Uh, it is what do you want? Is armor level? Yeah. Uh, it is four. Uh, oh my god! Wait. Um. Remind me, what's my bite based off of? My total level or my skill level? Uh, the bite's based off of its skill level. Uh, I mean, it's still three. If it was four, I could have bitten through that. Yeah, I was gonna say I could have used your teeth. <laughs> so. Uh, okay. I will now fire uh, a fusion pistol. At, uh, wait, is one one of the legs have been blown off, haven't they? Oh, uh, one of the arms is blown off. The one that's opposite. Arms, arms. Okay. Yeah, on the other side. Uh, okay. One of the legs has damage from the cryo pistol. Uh, yeah. What do you have? Your fusion pistol, so it fires one yeah. round per turn. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna aim. Oh wait, actually, if I aim, doesn't it remove that bonus? Yep. Okay. Anytime okay, you I... aim for a specific area, it always makes it harder to hit. So you oh, just... okay. Uh, in this case, it simply just gets rid of that plus two for its size. Yeah. Okay. I will shoot at the other weapon. 
that it has in the other one. Okay. Your attack. So that's D12 plus hit probability. Yeah, so it's going to be yeah, okay. D12 plus whatever. Not uh, plus, and it's not. It's not plus hit probability. It's, not in. it's going to be uh, D12 plus your um, bonuses. So your sighting, your range. Oh, so it's just a straight D12 thing because my hit probability yeah. is. So fighting an unarmor, un, unarmored target, yeah. your hit probability would be used, meaning you'd have to roll a D12 and get over that hit probability to hit them. Oh, so should I be technically minusing off of the starting? Yeah, you, you want a lower hit probability. So it always, oh, okay. it's a higher armor okay. level, lower hit probability. So anytime there's a plus to hit probability, it actually lowers that number. Okay, so fine. So my hit probability is down to six then. Okay. And I have no other bonuses, I think. So it's just a straight D12. Should. What uh, what other bonuses do you have? So my hit probability is base of eight, but then minus two with my perception adjust. So it's and then I don't have any negative from my small munition. Yeah. Okay, so that should be hit then because its armor class is four. You're aiming, so it would be like a negative. So it's a six armor level right now. Uh, because the range modifier gets negated, it comes down to four. So yeah, ten would hit it. Nice. So you can give me damage for that as you fire into its other arm. Okay. Dunk. Mm, let's see. Does that work? No. That is not uh, you have to use the uh, the star icon or like little star oh, what's it called okay. I, what's that called uh, astro, the astro yeah, astro yeah, yeah. It, it's okay. weird some damn good damage there uh, nice maybe I should switch my fusion pistol fusion pistol give me a second I gotta read something is it like correct Uh, I will say. What was that? 132 points of damage. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, you hit its arm. Let me see. This. Take it out. Take it out. 33 damage. All right, uh, you mess up its arm pretty good. However, it does not go down like the other one did. Uh, it kind of like grows limp though and hangs next to it. Okay. Seems like I've taken out its ability to aim properly. And no, you want me to read? Hold on, fusion. Fusion rounds cause burn damage. Doesn't matter because it's armored. Uh, each of these rounds do full damage up to level three. Level four and five is divided by two. It also gives you a plus two to hit. You knew that already, right? Uh, wait, so it gives an extra? Yeah, so bonus. those rounds have a plus two. So you just did 100 and lots of damage since it's armor. Obviously it's too low and I have to upgrade. Wait, plus Anyways. two to the uh, to the, hit probably. So. Yeah, yep. So it lowers it. But uh, only when you're using that weapon. Though. Okay. Yeah. So my hit probability with that is now uh, four. Damn. Right. Yeah, so if it so, with an armor class, obviously no other adjustments, it would raise it to eight. So you'd need an eight or up to hit it. But anyways, that ten does hit it. Uh, you damaged it pretty good. Uh, its other arm goes down. 
doesn't fall off, but goes down. And I believe that's it for your turn, correct? Yeah. Uh, Kevin, uh, it actually, what's its speed? Hold on. What's your speed there, Kevin? Nine. All right, it will go first. I'm doing attack roll. It doesn't have a lot of options, kids. I'm sorry. I just want to tell you that right now. <laughs> As, I don't know uh, if that's a good or bad thing. One of its arms down. Uh, mind you, most of its weaponry is on its arms. By the way, uh, its arms did have large blades. Uh, did not cut through like I wanted. And it has arm cannons, which are now currently disabled. All right. Before you go, uh, you guys obviously have damaged both of its weaponry. Uh, only thing it can do. Well... Actually, hold on. Let it roll five. Let me see. Give me a luck check there, Cypher. Oh, gosh. It has start, two things it can do. Stuff. It has a couple of actions, so. Uh, oh, sorry, what luck luck check was it? Yeah, give me a luck check. Okay. Come on. Yes. Thank God. Wow. All right. Uh, it's not going to crush you with its legs you're, as you're pretty close to it. Uh, it could have easily gotten over there. It does not like you. However, uh, those that are further, you suddenly see its upper area open up and you see a bunch of streaks come out of it. Multiple streaks. 10 streaks. Uh, uh, this is 10 to 12. It's a plus six. You all have level five armor, is that correct? Yep. Mm -hmm. No, I have level four. That's fine. Oh. No. Wow, these are My some... My helmet's level five, but everything else is four. It's basically one, two, three, four hits, that's it. That's disappointing. I mean... All right, I don't know... Oh, do we each get a hit? I don't want to get hit, I rolled a 12 for luck. <laughs> Must have seen they stomped on you. Give me a second, let me add this. Yeah, you each would have pretty much gotten two missiles after you. One, two, three, four. One of us would have gotten three after us, considering if you divide ten by, huh? Yes, yes. One, two, three. Hold on, sorry. I'm mathing. All right, one goes for... Uh, well, let's see. Everyone roll luck. Let's see who's going to get the blunt. One, two, three, four. Let's see. Uh, D20. Okay. I got that one. I mean, you did damage it with a cryo pistol, so it doesn't like you. It doesn't like any of you, actually. Everyone's damaged it. Yeah, but I'm the one that froze its leg. I'm just gonna say four. Whoever, who are missing? Joseph and Kevin, did you roll luck? I did not, I'm sorry. It's fine. Let me see if this is gonna work. I've got ten. And then I'm just gonna do this while uh, Joseph rolls luck. Oh, that's cool. Second, what is this? I, I, I don't like oh. it when you say things are cool. That's oh, attacking nice. us. Oh, yeah. that's cool. It can actually... Is Joseph dead? <laughs> he might be. No. Yeah. Uh, can you roll luck? Oh, I can indeed. Oh, 56 damage? Yeah, divide that by all your parts as a missile. Oh wait, no, that's and it was that twelve was for you because you rolled that one. So time uh, do that by two. So what's that? Two eighty times two divided by five divided by six. So everything, all of your armor takes eighteen points of damage. Not okay. twelve. That's my luck roll. Nice. And that was one hit as one cracks 
This one's for Kevin. Is that a hit on me, sorry? Uh, no, you rolled 12. No, no. I'm rolling for Kevin okay. right now, so you are okay at the moment. Can Kevin repair armor with the repair skill? I think you'd be the armor skill would be good at that. I think I think repair can do a sort of good job on anything, but then you have the army you have to. Uh, everything takes to nine there. Good job, Kevin. Okay, okay, I can live with that. I can live with that. As missiles fly through the air, and a lot of them just explode and don't do anything, uh, unfortunately. Cipher, you got level five, correct? Mm-hmm. Everything of yours takes seven. Okay. Lucky you, I'm, my thing got heavily damaged. That 12 did not help. I only hit four out of ten missiles, though. That's not... Uh, and actually... Yeah, this one's coming for you there. Joseph. Okay. I gotta add you to the party. <laughs> Ooh, that's a bit more. Oh, I think you got the most got, damage out of all level, of us. Level five too, right? Yep. Everything Thank takes God. ten points. All right, you guys uh, just fucking took. Yeah, ten missiles your way. And laughed about it, basically. I'm not even sad. You see the doors quickly shut after this ten streaks fire, uh, leaving Kevin. Yep, no, uh, I use my last charge and my fusion rifle when I aim for the leg Kiki damaged. And go shoot. Does that hit? I can't do math. So it'll be negative six because you're aiming. You get a plus two and a plus three. Two. Hold on. Is it a plus three for that? Plus three. Uh, it is plus three with the rifle and plus one yeah. for chrome. So that's plus four total. Do you have any other thing? You've got, don't you have a skill level in that too? I have a large munition skill level one. Oh, okay. I thought it was two for some reason. Ah, uh, so that misses. Oh, shit. But it, did, it does have a recharge, I believe, doesn't it? I got uh, wait one turn for it recharge. Ah, okay. Uh, what is your second action, then? I try to toss an incendiary grenade behind it. Okay. Like, you I'm trying to miss Cypher. <laughs> Thank you. This thing. Exactly. Oh, to truly hit, you have to aim for Cypher. Remember, every time you did this, it always hit someone because of your luck. All right. That is enough for it to land pretty much behind it, and it explodes, engulfing the ground uh, on fire. Nice. Uh, initiative. 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 Another round. Oh, that's disappointing. This guy's letting me down. Not as much as me. <laughs> <laughs> I am Speed Demon. Wow. You I must mean, fear me. That's within expectations. Uh, all right, Cipher, you are up. Everyone got walloped by a missile. Mm -hmm. Makes sense that we'd be a little slower after that. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I still took damage. I'm gonna fire fusion pistol at its core. You aiming for center of mass, or you just firing them? Uh, I'll aim for... Uh, wait, did we know where the its eye was? Or is that no, just for... because okay. we said it was a suite behind okay. armor. Um, 
then yeah, I'll just shoot uh, All right, give me just your shoot at the center of mass. If you have more than one, are you shooting twice? Or? It says one shot round, round per turn. turn, one round per turn. So is that I can only use this one? Yeah. For the like, cycle, oh, okay, and then I have to switch. Yeah, because you're on a fusion, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, and then when it comes to switching, once again, usually switching weapons is an action, unless you have like a sidearm or something readily accessible or on a sling. I do have um, holsters for my okay. revolver and tech so. Right. Cool. Have fun. Well, unfortunately, that shot goes wide. Hey, at least you didn't roll a one. That's right. That's true. Then uh, I, yeah, I swapped to my revolver and fire. Must a cap. Yeah, same same place as well. And I seem to be stuck. Mm. Hell, Twos. Twos. You didn't roll a one. Kiki. Yeah? Uh, Cypher fires, misses, it's your turn. Okay, can and I aim at that hatch? Hatch? The one the missiles came out of. Uh, it's on the top of it, and from your position, no, you don't know the shot. Okay. Your short little thing, smaller than that little person next to it, so you like the size of its toe. Not that that is a toe, but you know what I mean. And I guess, can I aim for... Uh, oh, I forgot it has a height advantage. What? You can, what are you aiming for? Uh, Sorry. I'll just go fire at it. Okay. Your attacks. Attack, attack. What are you using? I'm uh, cryo pistol. Does that hit? I think that hits all. That hits too. What do you hit on? Jesus. Give me your damage. Okay. There are some colorful rounds going off. We're good at the like Did nice roll teal. A 12 12? Yeah, that's fine. You got the nice teal from the freaking cryo rounds. You got the fusion rounds glowing orange. Explosions fire. Jesus. Yeah. Everything combat should be. A lot of I like how throughout this entire thing, I haven't rolled anything besides double digits like this. <laughs> like, I think the last time I rolled it was a 44. Well, it's 12 12, so that's not great. You, you've not been rolling well there. Alright, where were you using lovely. cryo? Where were you using 144. Yeah, cryo? Okay, yep, you hit it yeah. a couple more times. It's armor. Uh, you see the cryo come out and start to ice around it. Uh, that completes your turn, correct? Uh, yeah. I have one more shot. No. Nope. Or I have to switch. Or reload. Most likely switch. Uh, Kevin then, right? Yeah. Alright, Ke Kevin's waiting on his weapon to recharge, so he's gonna pick up and run off to the side here. Use his full movement to get kind of next to Cypher, but not within stomping range of, of the thing. Are we going to try and push it into the incendiary? Is that why you're no, coming up close? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm that strong. I'm just going to grab it and start walking forward. Well, I thought you were getting close so we could both push. Oh, I thought we were supposed <laughs> to push you. That would be a great idea. <laughs> this is the third round Cypher. it's recharging, correct? Uh, yeah, this round it has to recharge because I still have one shot left. I used that on the last round. Then this round it has to recharge. All right, so you move <laughs> into stomping distance. No. No, no. I went, no I, not stomping distance. Unless it runs up to you and stomps you. It's gonna, it doesn't have a choice at this point. Okay. I'm hoping it just pays attention to Cypher and that means. All right. Okay. Here's its attack roll. Don't get a 12. Uh, five again. Oh, thank God. Uh, of course, it doesn't have much to do, so. Uh, let me see. What is it going to do? Hold on. Let me do this one. Oh, dear. Oh, no, sorry. This thing, yeah. This thing is not doing what I wanted it to. As its arms are already disabled, I can't use those weapons, uh, which leaves basically missiles or 
the ability to stomp. So. All right. One, one, one. Thank one, fucking God. Definitely. Let's see what happens. Where's my... I don't know why I rolled it as initiative, but either way, that's a 12. What does it do for its crush? All right, it attacks you there, Cypher. Yeah. I guess the good thing that wasn't actual initiative, or else we'd be fucked. I, I should have said I wish it would. Oh, are we redoing initiative? Uh, no, no, no. I haven't been yet. Yep. Oh, okay. All right. Actually, yep. Go ahead, Joseph. Uh, nothing bad happens to it because of that one and that 12. They cancel each other out, but it basically lost its turn, unfortunately. I'm going to, so I'm going to shoot it twice, twice, twice with my crossbow. It my can have two shot. shots. So standard shots are, are at the body. So first one. Oh, I 20. forgot. And the second one. Twenty-one. Okay, nice. So two hits. That's a total of uh, twelve d twelve damage. So oh, I forgot I'll about that. Shh, I'm so dumb. Never mind. Continue yours. Don't mind. Okay, so the first one does thirty-five. Second one does. God, these rolls tonight have been shit. Twenty-eight. <laughs> These have been absolutely poo. Oh, wow. Okay. It's at 35 plus the 28. 28. Yes. So we're told with 63. Yeah, these. It's not taking. Like, everything else is doing more damage than. Your bolts aren't doing that much. Might have to adjust that. I don't know. It well, is a heavily the, the, armored. Yeah. I mean, I could get out a laser rifle, but that does less damage. Oh dear. That's an initiative roll, I presume. Yeah, yeah it is. Yep. Well, I'm kind of glad this happened on the initiative and not me firing. I'm a bit quicker this time. Why do I keep... God damn it. Wow. Why did... I'm ta Kevin takes a nap. We're all... Uh... <laughs> Joseph. I like how it's like the father dart of hair that rolls over. I am one. going to. Uh, hang on, let me just have a look at my laser rifle because I have. Laser rifle. I can burst with that though. Ooh. Okay, uh, I, I, it, as an action, I'm going to exchange weapons, so I'm going to put away my crossbow and get out my laser rifle, and I'm going to do a burst of laser rifle rounds at it. Okay. 3d12. So here we go. You need, what, over 6, 5 to hit it, I think? Yeah. Yeah. Tip. I hope you can hit. <laughs> 3d12, here we go. Oh, oh, that is Ooh. just incredible. Oh. That's just incredible. I need a, a I need a luck check. A luck you check. Yeah. Let me luck check. I am doing so well with this. Double, uh, like, I mean, double, double ones. Trouble. That should be just, with no 12s, that should be just, yeah. Skills. Technically, it's all ones if you count the 11 to the separate things. Yeah, it is all ones. Oh, oh, so God. there's the one! Yay! <laughs> Alright. You you switch over to your laser rifle as you go to fire. Uh, hold on. Does it have a magazine? It doesn't. Nope. No. No. Uh, unfortunately, your laser rifle starts to overheat. Uh, it does not fire, and it just continues to make, you know, like the noise of something powering up. Um... Okay, well, unless I can do something this turn, which I can't. No, actually, that's the end of my turn, because I've 
exchanged weapons and fired. It starts to smoke. Well, I can't do anything, so if it starts to smoke <laughs> until my next turn, I can't do anything, so... Cypher, you're up. God, that was... that was hard. Sorry. Well, no, there's nothing you can do. It's just the dice, isn't it? Just uh, the fucking dice, isn't it? It is. It is. Some days. Because uh, I've got my revolver equipped, I will fire uh, two more rounds at the uh, centre mass. Your attacks. So it's the first shot. Oh, another. Uh, that's twos. like the third two in a row. Yeah. It's not a one. And yeah, it's not it. ones. Don't complain, man. It's not ones. Mm -hmm. uh, that does that hit? Uh, hit probability is six. So I don't think so, because it is with my revolver. Yeah. Uh, we'll say the shot hits it, but it does no damage to its heavy armor, unfortunately for you. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry about that. It is okay. next turn. Okay. And I completely forgot it does have a weapon. All right, this is perfect. As you guys, it definitely oh. appears damaged. You have disabled both of its arms. Its legs are in rough shape. It has scorch marks. Uh, at this point, it pretty much targets all of you as a threat. The front area here, I did forget that it does have cannons in there. Uh, it opens fire. Uh, as you see, it's back open and it fires another volley of missiles as well. God help us all. Let's do the cannons first. Wait, didn't think we were a threat before? Well, it's, you know, just... It's, yeah. not, it's not done much damage to us. No, it's not. Now it will. That 11 definitely hits. Uh, I was going to say it probably fires at Cypher. Since you're the closest. Sorry about that. So far. Mm -hmm. Great. So, here's what's going to happen. As it fires, these are these large rounds. There is no uh, armored reduction for this. So you're going to take 25 points uh, to... Uh, uh, 10. Left arm. Left arm, thank you. So you're going to take 25 points of damage to your left arm. Uh, you also are going to give me a uh, strength check. Uh, wait, 25 to left arm. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Perfectly, uh, left leg, right leg, right arm, left arm, head. Fires twice, pretty close to you. Uh, Hits you in your left and... arm. Sorry, was it strength check? Yep, strength check. As this round... Oh, that's close. Uh, however, the round no. hits you and knocks you on your ass. You are now prone. Uh, I take a nap. And the uh, missiles. Yeah. Goes streaking out everywhere. I got even with six or up to hit, right? Is that what it was last time? So he's got a plus oh, six. Yeah. You've all got pretty much five. Oh god. Oh, oh my god. Oh Jesus, three oh, twelve. Alright. Oh MG shit. That's all but one of this hit. Is, this is Oh, let's see. This is gonna be this, painful. This could, uh, this could. This, I, I, I don't know. I have level happen. four armor, by the way. Okay. Except for my face. Not the face. Not the face. Sorry. This is my like... face is level five armor. You know, gotta protect the goods. Uh, twelve. Come on. I think I was rolling high on the last turn. So. Let's do 2d12. It's alright, I'll phase it out. A second. I'm just assuming we're dead at this point with all, all those crits. I mean, alright. Piece, pieces of us might take it. Kiki, you're up first. That 12 hits you. Uh, uh, what so is your armor? How much at? damage? I... What is your armor? Five. Oh, Every... um. Damage wise or level? No, uh, damage wise. I know you're five, right? Um, 32. All right, so everything takes 13. 
as the first one okay. hits. Here comes the second one. What the frick just happened? Oh. Uh, I'm dead. Everything takes seven. That's it. On. I am so god glad Kiki has a full stomach right now. Uh, <laughs> These missiles were pretty accurate. Actually, that's not. Is this a 12? Nope. Next one is a 12. Joseph, level 5, yeah? Yep. Everything takes only four. Oh, that's better. That's what, that's what we. This is what but we here's, need. But here's here's that bonus for that doubles. Okay, these are oh, low. thank you, thank you so much. Oh, those aren't. Damn. It's 120. That's that's low damage. So far, Kiki took the blunt of it. Uh, everything is going to take another four points of damage. Kevin gets three, and then Cypher gets three, or two, because that one missed. You're close range. These missiles are very quick, and they arc. They're, mind you, not like what you were fired at upon before, but it's still causing a little bit of damage. Here we go. More damage coming your way. Kevin, these are for you. Oh, thank God. Oh, that's not a lot, is it? You might what? have misspelled that. Yeah. I think well, it did. <laughs> that's still. Oh, oh, all right. That's still whatever. Time divided by four. Uh, divided by six. Everything of yours takes four points as well. However, what's okay, going to kill okay, you is okay. probably. No. Nope. So that's a hit. That's a hit. How much? What's your armor out there? Just curious. Uh, I'm minus 13 for 40. Let's do the math on that. Number 27. Your, Remember, your cybernetics will take different damage, too. Yeah, my cybernetics armor level is two. And are you, are, is it three? Points. Do you still have armor? Yeah, I still have armor. Okay, so it's not getting I'm only down, down 13 from 40. Oh, all right, so you're going to be able to take this. <laughs> I'm so happy you guys have high armor. I don't like killing my players, but... Bit different. It's not done yet. Let's see. It's only 50. Divided by five. I'm at four, sorry. You're still at armor, right? Everything takes six points. Yeah, I should still have armor. Yeah, yeah, I still have armor. Was that two or th three? I don't remember. That's the third one. Okay, so we're on to Cypher. Okay. You have uh, level five, correct? Yeah. All right, from that first impact, as you're on the ground, you're looking up pretty much and you just see these missiles streak for you. One of them misses. Uh, however, the other two hit you. This first one's gonna do four points of damage to everything. The one that's gonna really mm -hmm. hurt you is this one. Because this is a critical. Uh, no, please no. One else has to Why take the do that map. again. Roll. I don't know. Two D twelve. I should just times time. Come on. Double damage. So one fifteen times two divided by five. Divided by six, everything takes ten points of damage. And I believe you're still up, right? Yeah, everything's still holding, I think. So that's uh, the four plus the ten across 14. everything. Okay. Yeah, so 14. Yeah. As the missile comes down and wallops you uh, as you're on the ground. Yeah, these missiles, okay. like I said, there's a swarm of ten missiles arc and quickly fucking come after you guys. Uh, Kevin. 
that's it. That's all he could do. He fired his cannons, knocked one down, fired a bunch of missiles. It's your turn. I fired two shots center mass into this thing. And you're attacked. Give me a luck check. Special. You could have probably ended it too if you did not roll that one. All right. Uh, you are not going to be able to fire this round as the recharge was not complete. It was almost there and you went to fire and it had to reset. Zombie bitch. <laughs> Cheeky. Well, that, was that? No, you have another action, right? I tried to fire both shots. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Sorry, Kiki. Give it that one. You're up. That's a hit. Oh, no, that's not a hit. That's very free. Oh. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, she did just get hit by a bunch of missiles. She's oh, a yeah. child, and <laughs> you're loud. Right. That makes sense. I was doing that to see if she runs away. Doom, doom, doom. She's probably stunned. Like, what the fuck? I don't know. Yeah, what are you doing? So, um, if I swap out a weapon, and it's specifically on a holster, it does not take an action? As long as it's easily accessible, like, yeah, right there on your person, it doesn't cost an action. Okay, swapping out my, um, cryogenic pistol with my fusion pistol. I have a lot of pistols. God. See, what are you keeping? Alright, give me your tax. And pretty much pistol whip someone if I want to. So, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah, you get pluses too. It's little level armor four is not enough. Yeah, like two. Hmm. Um, what the hell? What happened? Um, for some reason, my keyboard is not registering the asterisk. It registers eight. Eight. I like only the asterisk. <laughs> um, this fight you roll for me. Yep. Thanks. Uh, fusion pistol does 2d12 times 6, right? Yep. Times 6. Wait. Fusion pistol, that's 2d12 times 6, is that right? Yeah, that is. That is. Shit. And your second one. Again, 66. 78. Let me see. He's, uh... Let's that uh, nope. Eight. Jesus. All right. This uh, it's looking damaged. This heavy weapons platform is looking very damaged. Uh, that's what I'm gonna say as we go into another round of initiative. And Here either this <laughs> shit. Finally, I didn't roll a fucking one. Actually, no, that's not right. Sorry, ignore me. I am going to roll that again. I'm going to press the right button this time. Yeah, I rolled a nine! So, can it use that missile thing multiple times in a row? Well, as you see the back of it open up, you assume that it can. Damn it! So it goes first then? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh. God. That's gonna hurt. Uh, uh, I am so glad Kiki can come back to life. Um, so is that the is that the um gun shooting? Yeah. Or the missiles? These are the guns right now. 
Oh dear, whoever's getting shot by that gun is gonna fucking hurt. It's uh. gonna be Cypher. Hello, Cypher. Goodbye, Cypher. Have you got cybernetic limbs? Because you might need some after this. Oh we will God. remember you. You'll, you'll be fine. You'll no, be you fine. Won't. <laughs> I'll fine. hold the memorial with It's your only glasses. 44. I mean, you're on the ground. You just got pummeled with missiles. It wasn't a 12. Where's the 10? Same again, isn't it? Oh, I'm again. You're about to become an augment, whether you like it or not. Uh, I mean, then he's going to be closer to being a Terminator, isn't he? That's right. Damn, Terminator. this thing. All right. Uh, yeah, that's left arm again. What do you have for armor? How much to left arm? It's still five. Okay, you're going to take uh, level, level five, but uh, yeah. Um, what that's about fine. that 12? That was... Uh... Yeah, I did double. See the times two. Okay. So this is 44 points of damage, or 44 points of damage to your left arm. So, since your left arm armor is gone, mm -hmm. I need you to give me an endurance check, because you have you're full on health, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're not dead. However, this is a heavy wound, or a serious wound, uh, with a possibility of losing your arm. So you need to give me a good endurance check for that not to happen. So for because before it was hit, it was on 4 out of 50 hit points. Yep, so you take 40 health. Okay, so... So that's a fucking... Yeah, that's a heavy shot uh, that your arm's taking. Either way, your arm's crippled. Uh, but if you lose it, that's going to be up to endurance. Also, if you pass out... Okay, endurance, come on. Oh, that's yeah. fine. He can take it. Wow. Take it like a man. Yeah, since you're already on the ground, like literally, we'll say like you sat up and it fires at point blank. One round misses. Uh, the other one goes into your arm, shreds your arm, or cripples your arm. Uh, you are going to have some side effects of stuff, though, even though you have your arm still. Right mm -hmm. now, you're going to, you are seriously wounded, obviously. <laughs> you're seriously fucking wounded. Uh, you will be losing 10 health per round unless you heal yourself with an advanced med kit. Uh, also, attribute loss of negative 6 to anything you do right now. With, because you're, uh, you're pretty much fucked. Great. Uh, and now the missiles. Uh, That's not bad, is it? Alright. It fires. Its back opens up and it fires. However, there are no 10 missiles that come out of it. There are only 3. He's running out of ammo. Oh yeah, he's out. <laughs> all of no, his, they, all we, of, we just, you know how many rounds his arms have? Missile. Like he had. Well, so here's the thing. He used some on other people, like leading up to this event. You know, over the course of however uh, long. So he was already low, but yeah, he just he's missile swarmed you a couple of times. Uh, however, this shot is coming after you there, Joseph, and it does hit. So I am surprised, Kiki's through all of that. Oof. 10 divided by 5. Divided by 6. Everything takes 7 points as you get hit with the last of its missiles. This thing's so f Uh, and if you're still alive, I'm sure yeah, you are. Yeah, definitely, because each of my, yeah, 25 across all my plates now. Oh yeah, damn. Um, by the, oh, it doesn't change too much, but my uh, health is 32 out of 72 because I have the health adjust for my injuries. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it still uh, needs to have a medkit or advanced medkit to heal. Oh yeah, anything over 20 points is is, is like a critical wound. And I should say that. Yeah. It says serious, but yeah, you're still you're. I mean, your arm is shredded. You know, it's just hanging on <laughs> by. Oh, yeah, it's, it's not pretty. Not uh, Joseph, it is your turn now. As it, uh, that you um, fired its last three missiles and hit you with the last one. I'm going to... Well, first thing I do, I'm going to release the power pack from my um, laser rifle so it doesn't overheat. Okay. And drop that. So, And then I will then take up my crossbow and shoot it for once with that. Okay. So take this, you, you fiend. Swap weapons. Drop the power pack, saving your rifle. 
and you fire a round, which hits. Nice. Of course it hits. I fire it. <laughs> Me too. Yes. Of course, of course it hits. Nice. Take 57 points of damage, you bitch. Is that enough? Oh. Once again, Please its plate Please is scorched enough. where it's hit. It staggers. Please. But it does not go down yet. Oh my ah! god. That's fine. We got three more people to shoot it. Well, all right, two more people to shoot it. <laughs> uh, if that completes your turn, Kevin, it is your yep. your turn. Yep, I'm going to fire one shot right into center mass there. Uh, what are you using? Uh, it's a fusion rifle still. Uh, it needs a three round recharge, I believe. 40 minutes. Did you update that? Probably. Uh... Fusion, hold on. Maybe I'm. Oh, I was looking. Never mind. You're right. I was looking at the. Uh... Wait, what are you firing? A fusion rifle? No, an electron rifle. Oh, that's what I thought. All right. Oh, I forgot about that's, that. Yeah. I, so... I said fusion. That's my bad. Okay, that's why I was confused. I'm like, if you're firing uh, an I... electron. By the way, this it would have changed things, but it doesn't matter right now. Yeah, there's a three round recharger with disable. It has disable. Uh, it didn't work on it last time I hit it. But give me a shot. I'll tell you, give me a shot. We have one round in there. Well, I'm using the electron rifle. I'm not using the fusion rifle. Okay, that makes a big The fusion rifle I left back into the truck. I didn't. I've been using the electron rifle the whole time. That's the stats I've been using. Oh, okay. Give me an attack. Hey, that's. Yeah. Yep, great. Mm -hmm. I'm even just like the battery's not dead yet. It's close. Wow. No. Oh. No, stop it. Give me a luck check. Stop rolling the ones. Stop wow. rolling the ones. Why do I right. roll them so high in the luck checks, but... Uh, yeah, your shot does not connect. As it goes off, it's there. Kiki. Uh, was that it? Uh, you have another turn? I had one more turn. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Yeah. I mean, so I just sling the, the electron rifle and I run over to the cypher and, and give him a stem real quick. Okay. Uh, you'll be able to get well, to uh, Yeah. You won't be able to stem him until it's next turn. Yeah, alright. I'm uh, running towards him though, trying to get ready. Well, you, for that. how close were you? Because you said you moved to him before. I'm sorry, am I getting I wouldn't. Or? I wouldn't have been close enough to, because okay. I was staying out of stomping distance, so I wouldn't be able to actually hit him with it. All right, so you'll be able to get over there. Uh, Kiki, it's your turn. All right. I'm going to specifically make one shot with a fusion pistol and then one shot with a cryo pistol. Okay. Pew, give me, pew, give me pew, your fusion. Pew, pew. <laughs> Pistols going off everywhere. Mainly because I have one more bullet with um, ammunition with it, the cryo pistol, I want to use it. No. All right. The fusion, fusion round does miss. As you switch over to your cryogenic, and you fire at it. Wow, it just does not want to go down, does it? Uh, that does hit, though. So you can do the damage for that. It's a plus freaking 11. It's still a 10. Jesus. Battle. Another 44. I'm not even gonna. Wow. I'm, I'm... All right. Okay. I'm just gonna do that. Yep. All right. Your fu your fusion pistol round misses. You quickly switch over to your cryogenic and you fire it, hitting it. Basically, we're like the front cannon, as we'll say. As you see the round kind of um, splinter. Do you want me to roll it? You crowd to see where I hit. Uh, uh, no, you don't want to do that. That'll, that'll. I mean, go ahead, fine. Give me a hit location. You're doing yourself a disservice, though. Uh, are you rolling or no? Oh, you want me to? Well, I no. I said not to. All right, yeah, that's fine. You don't need to. 
Trust me. All right, you miss with your fusion round. It flies through the air. You quickly switch over to your cryogenic pistol and you fire. We'll say you hit it here. Doesn't matter. Uh, you. How, how does this thing end? Um, the the kill? Cry um, the cryo shard just starts slowly freezing the circuits inside until the entire thing looks frozen solid in a ice sculpture of the deserted wasteland. Congratulations. Does that make sense? The heavy weapons platform is destroyed. Cypher, what are you doing before we end this? Uh, healing myself. I was going to say, I'll, I'll run over because I've got an advanced med kit if you need one. I run over. Do you, does... my ar Do you want my arm? <laughs> uh, not yet, thank you, Kiki. Uh, Just gives you that uh, finger guns and then a wink. <laughs> okay. Uh, would a standard medkit be enough to heal, or would advanced medkit be needed? So, uh, it will to do your health, however, for a crippled limb, uh, I mean, yeah, you can give, I have it right here, that doctor medkit or advanced medkit, it will heal a crippled limb. limb, you will have to sling it though, while it heals, uh, if somebody wants to use a regular medkit on you, or a doctor, preferably somebody has to do this for you. Well, I have a... Advanced med kit, and I have uh, medical level two. Not okay. a doctor, but I have medical two. Well, then uh, take it away. Then. Yeah, yeah. If you, he's got a crippled limb, uh, and it's maimed, and whatever, the advanced med kit will do its job internally, uh, as long as you set everything back in place and sling it. Yeah, I go ahead and do that. You know, I know a thing or two about losing arm. Been there a few times. Uh, give okay. me a medical check, real quick. Please yeah, roll one on this. Yeah, we'll do one medical check. We'll do more next time. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Cypher, you have technically seen Kiki regrowing limbs. So she, when she said, "Do you want her arm?" she means it. Would that help any in any way? No, it wouldn't. No. Uh, I don't then, think it would. Help. Yeah, then keep it for now. <laughs> Now, but I may it. need it as an emergency. <laughs> oh, I may need one. it as an emergency replacement. I was, I was close. I was, I was yeah. worried about that. That would have been a perfect the one spot. He, All right. Yeah, the one he just ripped off your arm. Congratulations. Uh, encountering a heavy weapon platform of unknown design uh, that was buried in the sand. Nobody died, although it was close. Uh, if it maybe had some more missiles, or I don't know, it's two arms. Things could have went very differently. Uh, but and yeah, he took a lot of damage okay. considering her armor. I think you all did. Well, everyone took a lot of damage. Mm. Yeah, my think... armor went from 50 to 12. So, so is my arm okay now? Oh, well, no, it's crippled. It just still. Needs to be... It's yeah. still crippled, but it's so, not, okay. you're not going to lose it, basically. Yeah. Okay, you're, so you're like I'm no to... longer bleeding. Yeah. I'm just damaged. Okay. Yes, so you have a crippled limb. You're yeah. not going to be able to use that to do tasks and stuff. It's going to be a, it's going to be a little while. Do I still have the minus? Do I still have the minus six? Uh, well, for using anything like that arm, anything two handed. Uh, and if you're okay. using like rifles and stuff, it's going to be a negative. Uh, I might have to adjust that list, but it's probably going to be a negative two or a negative three right now for anything you're doing since you are a limb down. Uh, you know, it's okay. in a sling. You're gonna, it's got to be sling, slung while it heals and advanced. You know, it's going to take a couple days maybe. The question is, are you right handed or left? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, oh. Right hand if, for my if you wish to get a different, an augmented arm, like, then just let me know and I'll take care of your old one. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. I don't know how. You she's just gonna. Yeah, she's just being honestly generous. What, eating his very arm? Fun. Yeah, that's very generous. Um, yeah. She never says specified eating. A little, little, like, garbage disposal for limbs. Um, she uh, was thinking more like, use it for experimentation of a geneticist in nature. Lovely. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, congratulations, nobody died. You guys got beat up, I think, the most. I had a, you know, this is a, we're upping it. The level of difficulty is up a little bit, I think. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, you got beat not up eating it. Up guys? Uh, you might have, no. Um, theirs was already damaged from a free, like, more damaged than yours was. So. Any of us actually have the armory skill? Uh, no. I'm just, I'm just glad it never got the fire. It's 30 millimeter cannons at us. Well, that's the front cannons were 30 millimeter too. 
but it can only do two rounds per turn. I should change that so it does like ten, but then everyone's just dead right away. Because this is, listen, this yeah. thing is supposed to go after like other heavy big. weapons platform and big things. So, you know, yeah, that's, I'm, it's, yeah. So max or, I need a max. Now you guys need to be mech pilots too. But anyways. Ooh, uh, um, is that, that a scale? Because like, I would love to take it, that. It is. There is mech piloting in this. Um, but yeah, that's what's uh, that? How that's, much skill points? That's three hours, right? Is that it's past three hours? Yeah, that's three yeah. hours. It's yeah. past midnight for you guys. Uh, uh, do we enjoy? Indeed. Do we enjoy this session? <laughs> do we enjoy the pain? <laughs> give it, give it to me. Uh, I could do better. Hmm. I mean, I, I have pride myself on my armor, and so far I'm currently at twelve. Oh, so you guys got the. Definitely. Yeah, I would say I did and did not enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed it. I loved it, even though I rolled lots of ones. I thought it was great. Uh, and, and just so we remember, I am picking up my laser rifle and the power pack before we leave. Nice. Because I won't remember next week. See, so, currently looking here's, the here's the fun, under. I'll tell you. So it had 500 health, right? So, Kiki did... Kiki brought it to 499.5 points of damage. So the first round? There, no, that last round that you did. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what it was at. So it literally had half a point of damage. I'm like, it's it's done. So I'll give you that. Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. This has been interesting. Yes, yes. interesting uh, indeed. Right. Hey, the, um, I have to, have I have to bounce. All right. So okay, good. guys. Everyone. Yes. Appreciate you playing. Thank you, everyone. Until next time. Cheers, Thank guys. You. Bye. Um, Y'all take care.